A very auspicious and happy Shravan Mass to everyone. My name is Amit Karak. Welcome to my channel, VedicAstroAmit.com. Uh, Shravan Mass is going on, uh, so there is confusion. Uh, some people say it's already started. Some say it's going to start. So uh, <clears throat> we'll discuss exactly uh, the, why there is difference and then uh, the significance, the remedies, and also uh, based on your rising sign, uh, how that may impact you, you know, what remedies you can do, especially for your sign. First of all, uh, what is Shravan Mass? You know, Mass, these are the lunar months. Uh, these are not the solar months. Uh, so each lunar month, uh, you'll see Ashar, Shravan. So they're based on the names of the nakshatras. So Shravan Mass is the lunar month when uh, the moon is in Shravan as one of the nakshatras. The new moon takes place in the nakshatra of Shravan. And why the connection with moon, Lord Shiva? Uh, so Shravan Mass, uh, the nakshatra, Shravan nakshatra is ruled by moon. Uh, in Vimshotri system. So it, that's why it is very intimately connected with the moon. And, and secondly, why connection with Lord Shiva? Uh, one of the main uh, uh, things that we hear uh, during the churning of the ocean, the Samudra Manthan, right? Uh, first, uh, there was this poison, halahal, that came out of the ocean, out of the churning, and uh, nobody could handle that. And then Lord Shiva uh, came forward and he drank that halhal, that poison. So it was going down and then uh, Mata Parvati uh, held his neck so that it doesn't go down. So the poison was up to his neck. So that's why he's known as Nilakant, the, the one with the blue neck. The, the, his neck turned blue because of the poison, this halahal. Now this whole act of uh, Lord Shiva drinking the halahal, that they say, uh, it's it's a belief that the, it happened during the shower mass. So that's one of the key important things uh, regarding shower mass as well. Now, the next thing is uh, when to celebrate. Uh, so there are uh, in North India versus South India. In North India, they celebrate uh, what uh, we call Purnimant or Shuklant. Purnimant or Shuklant. That means the month of Shravana. That's one of the um, 12 months in lunar calendar. They say the month of, of any month, basically, in North India calendar, they start, they go from full moon to the next full moon. So the beginning of the month is on the day of full moon and then until the next full moon. That's the cycle. That's each of the lunar months. Whereas in South India, it's called uh, Amanta. Amanta means uh, it's ending uh, on Amavasya. So the, the new moon it marks the beginning of the new cycle, new month, right? So each lunar month begins on a new moon. So that's the difference. So uh, so in North India, that's why the, the Shravan Mass has already started as of July 22nd. That's when we had the full moon, the Purnima. So the Purnima or the Shuklant uh, system says uh, the Shravan Mass started on July 22nd. Uh, that's when they believe the month of Shravan month began. Uh, and it'll be ending uh, by August 19th. That's when the next month begins. So the, the shower month mass will end on August 19th. In South India, it's the new moon. It's the uh, Amavasya. And so the shower month, based on uh, the South Indian calendar, it'll start from August 4th. That's when the next uh, new moon, the Amavasya, will take place. And that'll be until September 3rd. So, so if you are in the South India camp, you know, you can... Uh, uh, celebrate them from 4th of August through the 3rd of uh, uh, of September. And so South India means uh, all these, uh, you know, the states, Andhra Pradesh, uh, Maharashtra, Telangana, uh, Gujarat also, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, all those. Uh, and North India, uh, that's uh, all of the, uh, so the states of Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Punjab, uh, Madhya Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Chhattisgarh, uh, Bihar, Jharkhand. So all those states in the North India, they follow the uh, the Purni month, which means they follow, they start the month, they already started celebrating. So in the North, you'll see these people who walk, you know, hundreds of kilometers uh, to go to the Ganges, to go to the Ganga, uh, all these pilgrimage, uh, you know, the rivers, uh, they start their Yatra already. And so that's the that's the idea. That's the difference between the North India and the South India. That's the difference in the dates. So what are the things we can do? Uh, generic remedies that, of course, everybody can do. Uh, first of all, all the Mondays uh, during Shravan Mass are extremely important uh, because Mondays belong to Lord Shiva. And so all the rituals, all the mantras, all the chanting, all the uh, fasting, so especially fasting on Mondays, each of these four Mondays of Shravan Mass is highly, highly auspicious. Secondly, you can do Rudra Abhishek, 
uh, with the panchamrit, you know, the five nectar, the five things. So you can offer uh, milk, yogurt, honey, ghee, and sugarcane juice if you have. If not, then you can use just sugar or jaggery, uh, this shakkar that you have. Uh, so these five things you can offer on shivling, especially on uh, Mondays. Okay, so Rudra Bishek. And then, of course, all the chanting, the uh, Om Namah Shivai, the Mahamrutinja Mantra. Uh, and you can offer Bilva, the bale leaves on Shivling on uh, Mondays, at least on Mondays. Every day you can do the uh, Shivling Abhishek as well. Or even with water you can do uh, every day, especially on Mondays. And then the evening times are more powerful for worshipping Lord Shiva. The Sandhya Kal in the evening. Uh, the sunset timing, uh, just a couple hours before, a couple hours after the sunset is ideal for worshipping Lord Shiva. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can feed animals uh, because Lord Shiva is known as uh, Pashupati. You know, he's the lord of the animals, keeper of the animals. So uh, anything you do for animals during this month will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, the other thing is there's so many things. Uh, on Tuesdays, each Tuesday of Shravana Mass, uh, you can also do fasting, and that is for uh, Mata Parvati. Those those Tuesdays on during Shravan Mass, those belong to uh, Mata Parvati, uh, and those uh, the, you can fast on those days, and those are known as uh, Mangal Gauri Vrat, and those are especially good auspicious for uh, marital bliss, so, so happiness in your married life, or if you are seeking a partner, if you're not married. Uh, you're looking for a partner. Uh, this is fantastic for you. So you'll get a, a cup, you know, a partner like like Mata Parvati or like Lord Shiva. So this is a fantastic uh, uh, days for fasting, uh, both Mondays and Tuesdays for different purposes. And now, when you do do all these remedies, uh, you know those will um, help you in many areas of life. But specifically, based on your Rashi, actually, you can see for this video, you can watch uh, based on your Rashi, which is the Moon sign, because we we're talking about the Moon. Uh, uh, Shavan Nakshatra and Shavan Mas. That's all about the moon and Lord Shiva. So it, let's say if your Rashi is Aries, so we'll begin all 12 Rashis. If your Rashi is Aries, that is your moon sign. And uh, remember, this is all Vedic Zodiac, not the Western. Uh, so for Aries, Aries Rashi, you'll be activating your fourth house. That's the, the sign of Cancer, Karak Rashi. Uh, right, so fourth house. So these rituals, these fasting, these uh, even you can give donations. Uh, all of these things that we discussed in the in the beginning, those will help you. First of all, it will really help you bring inner happiness. That's the fourth house, sukha sthana. It will bring sukha in your life in many different ways. In many, you know the gods' ways are very uh, cryptic, uh, so just just accept. Uh, secondly, it'll help with your uh, domestic life, it, with your uh, uh, with your mother, uh, in general, your connection with your family, uh, and then also uh, with your home environment, uh, real estate as well in general. So those things will uh, help you if you're Aries Rashi. If you're Taurus Rashi, then do, doing these rituals, these uh, these uh, uh, fasting or donations for Lord Shiva for for Moon will help with your third house. That is Karkarashi is third third house, uh, right? So so for uh, for Taurus uh, Rashi, for Taurus moon sign. So third house means it will help you become more courageous. Uh, emotionally, you'll become more strong. You'll have better relationships with your younger siblings, with your neighbors, with your close friends. Uh, you'll have better networking uh, skills, better communication. You'll learn more skills. That's third house. So those things will, uh, will be very... Um, beneficial so, so the third house will act, get activated with by, by doing all these things uh, the third one is uh, uh, mithun rashi uh, the the moon sign of gemini this will these rituals these remedies that we discussed earlier this this will activate your second house this will improve your family wealth the the accumulated resources this will improve your your voice will come more powerful this will help you with your diet also your family values all of that will be uh, will become uh, more positive and beneficial if you do all these remedies during the shavan mass and then the karkarashi you know if your moon sign moon is in karkarashi uh, fantastic time for you especially you are this is the month for you you know karkarashi people absolutely do lots of charity lots of donation do fasting on mondays and if possible tuesdays if for marital bliss uh, and listen to the intersection uh, so all of those things will lift up your entire chart that's how powerful it is your personality your your self image your your uh, uh, you know 
self development all of that uh, who you are and discovering who, you know your uh, purpose of life all of that will become apparent to you will become very clear to you you'll be you'll you'll come out as a very strong person after this uh, shravan mass uh, so so many uh, you know blessings and and uh, best of luck uh, and then uh, next one is uh, leo rashi if your moon is in leo so if your moon sign is leo then these rituals these things that you do would really benefit your 12th house your subconscious mind will activate uh, you, this will get rid of any hidden enemies, hidden issues, blind spots. This will connect you with your ancestors, 12th house. Uh, house. Uh, this will help you with uh, foreign projects, you know, dealing with foreigners. All of those things, uh, you, you, all of a sudden you'll get gains from unexpected uh, friends or, or hidden sources. So those things will improve in your life uh, during this Shravan Mass. Next is Virgo, Virgo Rashi, Virgo moon sign. Uh, this is uh, going to be uh, activating your 11th house. That is the Karka Rashi. So Karka is your 11th house, 11th sign. And so uh, literally this will bring you financial gains. Uh, this will improve your friend circle. This will improve your image in the, in the society and the social media. This will help you manage your desires better. Uh, that's your 11th house. So all those things will uh, improve. Uh, the next is uh, uh, Tula Rashi. If your moon sign is uh, uh, Libra, then the Shravan Mass rituals that we discussed in the beginning, those all will help you with your career immensely uh, because Kark Rashi is your 10th house. And so this will help with your uh, uh, you know, connection with the uh, authorities, connection with the government officials, or you may, you may if, you, if you're trying for like government uh, exams and things like that, you will have success. Um, and your career in general. This will improve your business, your career, your job, uh, everything related to your profession will improve uh, doing these rituals during the Shravan Mass. And next is Scorpio rising, Scorp not rising, I'm sorry, Scorpio Rashi. Uh, Vrishchika Rashi, if your moon sign is Scorpio, then this will completely activate your ninth house. Karka Rashi is your ninth house. So we're talking about the moon, Lord Shiva. So all these rituals we discussed earlier, these will help you be, uh, figure out what's your dharma, What's your path, spiritual path? It'll improve your connection with the spiritual gurus. It'll make you into a spiritual guru. It'll help with your higher studies, with your long distance travels, with your pilgrimage, with connection with your sangha. So all of those things will shine uh, if you do rituals and things, uh, remedies for these uh, Shravan Mas. Next is uh, 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 the uh, Sagittarius. Rashi, Dhanu Rashi. So if your moon is in Dhanu Rashi, then this will activate your eighth house. Literally, this will help you figure out the secrets of the universe. Just surrender to Lord Shiva and you'll gain a lot of... So this will bring a lot of change and transformation in your life for good, for, for the betterment, for revealing the secrets, the purpose of your existence, the purpose of universe, who you are uh, and your connection with the universe. Uh, and literally, it will help you with like deep energy healing, you know, inner work, uh, so all of those will be will manifest and you may also get uh, like inheritance or unexpected money from other people or from your uh, shared resources will will improve. Um, then next is Capricorn, Capricorn uh, Rashi, that is the moon sign. If your moon is in Capricorn, then this will activate your seventh house. Shaun Mas is a powerful window of opportunity for you to activate your seventh house. This will uh, improve your relationships, one-on-one -on -one partnerships and uh, uh, also uh, your business connections. So this is the time, uh, especially if you're married, if you have a partner, do these th rituals, these things uh, for Shaman Mas with your partner, with your spouse, uh, with your business partner. Uh, this will bring a lot of harmony. And especially the Tuesday uh, fasting, you know, the uh, Gauri, Mangal Gauri Vrat for you are especially powerful. Uh, do those, uh, observe the, the Tuesday fasts that we discuss in the intro section. Uh, the sign of uh, Aquarius, that is Aquarius Rashi. Kumbh Rashi, if your moon is in Aquarius or Kumbh Rashi, then your sixth house is activated. Excellent time for you to improve your health. Powerful, powerful month for Aquarius people to improve their health. That's all sixth house. If the moon is the Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva saved the Chandra, the moon, from waning, uh, from wasting on the day of Chaturdashi. Uh, Lord Shiva lifted the moon and put him on his forehead. Uh, that's the crescent moon that we see on his forehead in, in these pictures uh, behind me as well. Uh, so, so absolutely fantastic time to do these rituals 
and this will improve your health. And then uh, Mira Rashi, the Pisces, if your moon is in Pisces, then this will activate your fifth house. Uh, so your uh, this will be a fantastic uh, period for your children, for your romantic partners, if you have a romantic partnerships, or if you're seeking a romantic partnerships, this will uh, bring uh, a lot of opportunities, especially you can do the observe the Tuesday, the Mangal Gauri Vrat during this Shravan Mass. So all those rituals we discuss in the intersection will also uh, bring you uh, good luck and especially also better results in uh, stock market and investments, all of that. So that's uh, for all the 12, uh, 12 Rashis, uh, 12 moon signs. So, uh, and uh, I hope all of us have a wonderful, you know, blessings of Lord Shiva during this Shravan Mass. And thank you for watching and thanks for your time. I'll see you next time. Om Namah Shivaya.